To install Zotero, go to Zotero.org or just search for Zotero in any search engine. Click on the big red Download Now button. You'll be prompted to download the version of Zotero based on your operating system, whether that's Windows, Mac, or Linux. You'll also need to install a connector to your browser of choice, whether that's Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, which are the primary ones, but there are additional browser connectors available. The browser connector will allow Zotero and your browser to communicate. Uh, the going through the Zotero Setup Wizard will allow you to set up Zotero in a way that works for you. Once finished completing the Zotero Wizard, go ahead and launch Zotero now. When you open up Zotero for the first time, you should be prompted to create an account. This will allow you to install Zotero on multiple computers, which will all sync so you have the same content no matter where you are. You'll also be able to access your references online through Zotero's website. Once you have registered for a Zotero account, you may be prompted to enter in your login information on the Zotero app itself. In order to do this, you can go to Edit and then Preferences. Then select Sync and log in with your username and password. After you've logged in, you can get your Zotero set up in a way that works for you. Starting with the general information, you can select how it's laid out, the font size, if PDFs get uploaded, and so on. The Sync, again, that is your username and password. You can ask it to sync automatically and to sync full text content. Um, you can uncheck those as well. On the search tab, I would encourage you to download the PDF indexer. This is going to allow you to pull in PDFs that you already have, and then Zotero will find the metadata on that information and create the citation for you. Under the export button, you can select the citation style that you would like to use when doing just a quick copy of references. And generally, most of us have a standard citation style we use more than others. Mine is APA, but there are certainly lots of other options here if APA is not your citation style of choice. Under Cite, this is the citation style that you tend to use more often again, but this is for using it in the word processing program. If you don't see the style listed here that you want or need, you can click on Get Additional Styles. There are something like 7,000 other additional styles, so probably you're going to find the one you need. If you don't have the Microsoft Word add-in already installed, go ahead and do this right now. This allows you to use Zotero when you are writing your paper. It's really handy. Watch the additional videos for information on how to import items into Zotero, how to organize your information, and how to create bibliographies.